Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. It is using um, the eyeshadows in my Where the Light Is quad. The only color I did not use is Kathleen Lights. I wanted to do something like bronzy and green, so I did use other eyeshadows as well. I didn't only use this. But I wanted to incorporate this in today's tutorial because I haven't done a tutorial using Blaze and Blaze is an amazing eyeshadow. So yeah, this is a full face makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off with my face, which is really rare, but I decided to go ahead and do all of my face makeup before my eye makeup for this video. I just kind of primed my skin with that Urban Decay B6 spray and then I went in with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. The foundation I am wearing in this video is the Healthy Skin by Neutrogena and I'm applying this with a Makeup Geek flat top brush. I really really love this foundation and I don't wear it enough. I don't know why because it's so like healthy looking. Like the name suggests. It's really really beautiful. I'm mixing two products for my under eyes today. This is the Maybelline Master Conceal and I forgot how good this was. This is one of the best drugstore foundation, uh, nope, drugstore concealers and I'm in love with it. It's amazing. I'm just blending that in with a Real Techniques contour brush and then I'm going to take the MAC Prep and Prime little pen in the shade Light Boost and I'm going to highlight with this product. I just went ahead and blended it in with the same brush. So I decided to do something different. I am setting my under eye concealer using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Highlight in Reserve Your Cabana. Cabana? Reserve Your Cabana. It's a very subtle highlight, so I used it underneath my eyes to really, really, really brighten that area. For bronzer, I'm using the Real Techniques Multitask Brush and dipping it into the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And I tasted it a little bit when I was applying it, as you saw. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil, not the original. This one is much lighter. I love this one for my skin when I'm a little bit more fair. Then I decided to add just a little bit of uh, pinky warmthiness <laughs> with the Balm's Balm Desert. I only applied very little bit to my cheeks. To highlight my face, I am using the e.l.f. Sunkissed Bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. It's not a bronzer, but it is a very, very golden highlight. It's a very strong gold, but it's such a beautiful highlight, and it is two bucks at your local Target or wherever they sell e.l.f. I love this highlight. It is so gold. <laughs> I love it. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup. I am taking the ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Glow. I'm applying that underneath my brow bone. Yes, and to my inner corners. And then I'm going to take this shade right here called Cornelius, and I'm applying this into my crease with a Kat Von D brush. I'm only applying very little for now. And then I'm going to take this Josie Marin watercolor eyeshadow. It's the beautiful gold one. I'll have the list of every, like everything down below. This is that green one. Did I say gold? This is the green one. Okay, yes. And I just mixed that in with my finger, and then I took ColourPop's eyeshadow in the shade Blaze, and I applied it right on top with my finger. This eyeshadow is definitely best, best applied with your finger. So I just patted that in. Then I'm taking Bobbi Brown's single eyeshadow in the shade Camel. It's such a deliciously beautiful, like, yellow, yellow brown. And I'm applying this into my crease with a little fluffy crease brush. Then I'm going to take a dark brown eyeshadow. This one's just from Jouer, but you can use any dark eyeshadow you want. And I am just putting this into my crease so that everything blends nicely and there are no harsh lines. I'm going back into Blaze and just applying another layer to my lid just in case any of it was blended away. I want to add just a little bit of a goldenness to my inner corners, so I'm just applying that e.l.f. highlight right on top of the Glow eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take the ColourPop Cornelius shade again, and on a pencil brush, I'm just applying this underneath my eyes. Then going in with this NYX eyeshadow, it's one of their prismatic eyeshadows, this is like the emerald green one, and I just love the contrast of the bronze on the lid and the emerald green on the lower lash line, I think it looks really pretty, so I just smoked that out with that eyeshadow, and then I applied my mascara. So. 
To finish off this look, I'm going to do my lips. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And then I'm going to apply the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Polywog right on top. Okay guys, so that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!